What is going on guys? Mind Meld here and we are back with another no nonsense arc. And these are straightforward tutorials on how to do things in arc. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next. If you missed the last video, I will link that here. And uh that would be how to trap and tame a Trupianathus, Trupianathus, whatever you want to call it, however you want to say it. And uh this one is how to use the Trupianathus. So, uh, first of all, you need to trap and tame a, tru a Trupianathus. Tropianathus, Tropio, Trupio, Trop, Troop, whatever you want to call these guys. I think they, were lo they look pretty crazy. It's basically a reskinned uh, Tapihara. It has the same sounds as a Tapihara. But um, let's go ahead and unfollow. This is Tango 1. Hello, welcome, meet him, greet him. And um, basically you have the option to actually ride this guy without a saddle. You just go up, press your key to ride and ride it like any other flyer, press space bar to take off into the air. Somebody got a level. Tribunath has got a level for just flying 10 feet. How did that work? We're gonna give it a little bit of health. Oh, what's up, guy? What's up? And um, so you have the ability to ride it without uh, any sort of saddle on it. But if you do invest in the saddle, you get different abilities. Um, I was wanting to see here if we could locate some sort of small creature. And if we right click, we can actually pick the guy up in the mouth and um, carry him around. So you can pick up Dodos, you can pick up Kairuku, you can pick up uh, tons of small creatures, Dilophosaurs, obviously, and uh, otters, different things like that. You can pick up small creatures. You can't pick up like a Stego or Raptor, you know, anything, anything larger than uh you know the really small creatures and then if i right click again it's gonna drop him it's gonna bounce off my feet and uh yeah so you can you can fly the guy this way but if you want to invest in the saddle um you can do that basically come over here let me land real quick press space bar to land oh we got uh some Dilophosaurus in the area we're gonna just avoid those for right now even though we can take them out easily it's not a big deal we're gonna land over here and then oh we got a Dilophosaur here left click to attack um so without a sounder you got left click to attack you got right click which will do the pickup thing into the mouth um, C, C will make you, uh, drop in altitude. So you point up into the air to fly up. So if you press C on your keyboard, if you're on PC, um, if you're on console, I really have no idea. I, I don't have a console, so I can't tell you exactly what the controls are, but I'm sure you can figure it out. Um, you can also check the wiki for the, uh, more information. Let me hop off of this guy. Now, if you want to uh, get to level 65, you can search up your Ingrams and Tribunathus Saddle, level 65. Uh, basically, you equip a Tribunathus with this to ride it. Saddle is mounted with a cannon that fires grenades and gasoline powered jet engine. You craft it in the fabricator it requires 21 Ingram points and you want to have 120 crystal, 450 fiber, 325 hide, 600 metal ingots, 250 polymer. So it's kind of expensive for a saddle, but for what it does, um, it's actually pretty cool. So let's go ahead, access the inventory. And I actually picked up out of a drop this, um, Trupianatha saddle that has 300% uh, 300 weapon damage on it. Only 25 armor though. 
Um, then you want to drop in your grenades. We have four here, for example, and then a bunch of gas is, you know, like just load it with gas. Oh, we got the blood moon going on. That's kind of weird. Okay. So now we have taken to the skies and you're like, okay, we've got the saddle on it. We've got this, um, machine gun looking thing. We've got a jet pack on the back. How do we use this thing? Right? Cause you're like, you're, you're right clicking, you're left clicking. It does nothing. Okay. Um, basically what you want to do is you want to press control. And you will go into your afterburner mode. Then if you press shift or hold shift, I'm sorry, you'll go into like the sprint afterburner mode and you can do all kinds of crazy maneuvers and things like that. And then once, uh, once you've done that, if you want to, you can press the C key and you will do an evasive barrel roll, evasive barrel roll. You can pretty much. Once the animation is done, you can actually just do it again. See, I'm spamming it. And uh, you want to watch your stamina. Uh, it's very important when you're when you're uh, using your rocket booster. You want to watch your stamina. And then if you notice here, I have a crosshair now. So let me go out of let me go out of regular flight mode here um we're are, we're back into regular flight mode if i press control you get yourself a crosshair you can also get the crosshair right after you get your barrel roll uh by pressing c and then once you have your crosshairs you want to right click and you can start blowing shit up oh yeah and it's just going to fire a grenade wherever that uh, it may be. Now, there's one other use for these guys. Let's go ahead and land. You have to press control to get out of the um, afterburner mode, whatever you want to call that. Let's go over here and land. This looks like a good little spot right here. And actually... Oh, when you land, um, it's going to knock over trees and things like that. Okay. So these guys actually have another, uh, ability that they can do. And it is a grinder. So you basically want to access their inventory. And I'm going to put in these hide, um, pieces of armor that we found in the drop. And then if you click on one of the, uh, um, one of the objects, you can actually get a grind button down here and see it, it, it created uh, fiber and hide. So these guys will actually work like a mobile grinder so you can get resources from things that you pick up. Um, do we have anything else? Here's some chitin boots. Let's just go ahead and grind those and see. We got we got chitin. Uh, we got you know a few different things going on, but you can actually use these guys as a mobile grinder. So it's kind of neat to uh, be able to grind things on the go um, and just get your resources, you know, either back or you know get resources out of things that you pick up from drops um, and things like that. One last thing about the Troopy Anathus. Let me uh, gamma up just a little bit so we can see here. If we double tap spacebar on PC, you can actually blow things away um, from the Troopy Anathus. You can't really spam it. There seems to be like some sort of cooldown period. Um, but you can actually blow dinos and stuff like that away from the trope, which is actually pretty cool. Um, I think you can do that while we're landed as well. Double tap space. 
you go into the air to do it but once we're in the air if we wait long enough can we do it on a turtle let's science this can we blow a turtle what this is not that does not sound good um can a moss chops or a turtle can either one get blown away turtle no moss chops definitely yes and um basically that is the trupianathus and how to use it hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to smash the like don't forget to subscribe if you want more content and uh yeah guys keep it sticky